I am in an airplane right now. The three of us decided to get away for a couple nights, so we booked an Airbnb down in Topa, and we've been having a blast, <laughs> even with our grumpy two-year-old. So we have gotten up to quite a few fun things, one of which I'm standing in right now. But yeah, follow along and see what we get up to. Hello everybody, my name is Becca if you're new here. If not, welcome back to my channel, I suppose. Yesterday, we decided to go on a really spontaneous little trip. So yeah, we like looked on Airbnb, found a cute little place down in Topa, and we're just gonna go down there today. So we're going down for two nights. It's a three hour drive. Um, anytime we go on trips, I go like, I don't know, I just, my brain tells me that we're never gonna see any food again. <laughs> so last night we prepared some granola and muffins for the trip. Already half eaten because they're so good. Watered all of our plant babies and we're just getting ready to go. We're finishing up packing. I mean, look at that hard work. <laughs> There's nothing better than coming home to a clean house. So, trying to tidy up right before we go. No, we're, we're super excited. And yeah, I think we're about to take off, so. We hit a Whitaker's bar at the front of the car to me and Billy. Somebody found it, ripped all of the packaging off. Yeah, climb into your seat and then we can have some. Yeah. This is the fastest you've ever gotten into yeah. this car seat. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You ready for some chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! So usually we make our own sourdough loaf, but because we decided to go on this trip like last night, didn't have time to make one, so popped in and got a loaf for our trip. Because again, I just really like, like we probably could find a loaf of good sourdough bread down there, but no, I like being prepared. <laughs> Three hours of driving. I'm hoping he falls asleep. We'll see. We've never actually been to Hamilton before, so it's kind of fun driving through it. Seeing it for a second. It's all fall. It is a lot more folly down here, which is odd because it doesn't seem like fall at all in Auckland. So maybe the cooler weather. Okay, this place is crazy. So we got out of the parking lot, peed, because of course, three hour drive. And then, yeah, two steps in the parking lot, you are greeted by that roaring, incredible <laughs> waterfall. It's not a waterfall, it's just a river. So I thought originally that it was from a dam, but I don't think it is. I think it's just the river's really wide beforehand, and then it narrows down a bunch right here. And so it just creates this like really powerful, it's incredible, like actually being there. I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> And the water's so blue, it's so weird. Our little boy just stared at it going like, ah, water. So I don't know what it is about waterfalls or like powerful things with water like that. There's definitely some yeah. mystical voodoo stuff, magic going on though. Like I once heard that it's negative ions and that's the reason that it's so like restorative and magical. I totally believe it. I'm here for it. <laughs> nice jump. So these shoes, we found them like four years yeah. ago at a thrift store in the U.S. and I saw them and we have our blundstones. Yeah. 
<laughs> and we've been wearing them for that long. Anyways, we saw those. We didn't have kids yet. We weren't planning on having kids anytime yeah, soon. I and I saw yeah. them and I was like, we have to get them. <laughs> so we bought them yeah, for like four bucks or something and we've held on to them this whole time. Yeah. He's gotta go pee. Anyways, so we've been carrying around from for years now and finally they fit on him and he loves them and they're so cute and I'm so happy. Got a little stick. Ah, resting. Ah. Ah, so nice. Da, da, da. You're done? Ah. No, cool. Ah. I don't know if you can hear me, <laughs> but the sign that I just read said that the color of the water is from it picking up so much air bubbles because it's so fast and so much water that that's why it gets the blue and the white colors that it has. So. <laughs> this is our cute little babies. Yeah, we're gonna take it. Oh, they made a so they have a full kitchen, and then they have chickens through there. What do you think? A nice cozy bed. A bathroom. Yes, that is a delicious PB&J that I'm eating. There's just something so nice and relaxing about getting out of your own house and just going somewhere new for at least a night. Fluffy rolls, that's Tilly, that's what? her food, that's her yeah. hungry. There you go, there you oh. go. <laughs> There's so much fun. <laughs> Can she bear you? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Good, Ready, that's set, safe. go! <laughs> I don't know why it looks so red. Oh, because the lampshades are red. <laughs> Anyways, we just went outside and played because the two-year-old likes playing outside. And we ran into the Airbnb owner because they live on the other side of the garden. And it was so nice. She's so nice. She's actually from Ireland. And yeah, we just like hung out with her for like half an hour just talking and getting all sorts of good information and everything. But that's like the best part about Airbnbs is that you get to make so many cool connections. So Billy went to the grocery store. We were just gonna get takeout food, but apparently Topa has the most expensive takeout and like restaurant food in the world. Like it's more expensive than Auckland, which blows my mind. And that is highway robbery. So didn't go out to eat. This lighting is awful. So instead Billy went to the grocery store and he got stuff to make lasagna. So that's what we're gonna have tonight. They had a fresh loaf of bread and so we're gonna turn some of that into garlic bread and I'm very much looking forward to this meal. It just sounds so good and warming. It's a lot colder down here than it is in Auckland. Also, she just showed me her garden and was like, take as much as you want. And so she found this cauliflower and this broccoli and some spinach and she was like, take it all. So now we have some good veggies to have with it and I'm so excited. I did not film anything else last night. We were all very, very tired and a little bit grumpy. But we woke up feeling much better this morning and it's already been great. We're having our granola that we made brought and oh, I'm 
so excited to eat a giant bowl of it. So we have a lot of adventuring to do today. I think the first thing that we're gonna do is called Craters of the Moon. We're just gonna drive up there. It's only like 20 minutes away. I don't even know if it's that far. And then you just walk around. I think you pay like eight bucks maybe. We'll find out and I'll tell you more as we go. <laughs> So we're going to a McDonald's right now, which is very contrary to everything in my nature, but this is the world's coolest McDonald's. They have, well, you'll see why. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll probably just get some fries and like an ice cream or something. This is the world's coolest McDonald's because they bought an airplane and made it so that you can sit down and eat your food in it. And that's really cool. So you can play in it. And then of course they have all the traditional like play stuff down at the bottom too. So it's actually just a really fun place to go and get a little bit of food and hang about for a little bit. It's also really nostalgic because it just feels like I'm straight out of the 90s again back in my hometown going to McDonald's. I don't think I'm made for this one. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Did I hear daddy? Hey. So yeah, I am like morally and yeah, health wise and that, and that. <laughs> opposed to McDonald's. But this is an exception. Yeah, and that. They have a plane here. They got me. <laughs> Oh, I've missed McDonald's fries though. Daddy's turn to go through. <laughs> we got a little cool. Whoa! You better hurry before you get clawed by Daddy. <laughs> I bought the same way coming down. <laughs> oh, it's so small in there. <laughs> So we're about a kilometer away from Craters the Moon, so we're excited to see that. But it's just so beautiful down here because it's so autumnal. Auckland doesn't have like the leaves changing and a lot of signs of autumn, so it's fun to come down here and actually experience it a little bit. Topa is really cool because it has a lot of geothermal activity. So Craters of the Moon is a geothermal walk because what they like to call it. Ah, look at all the steaming bubbling pots. There's a really big park here. It's $45 a person though, and we're not feeling it because we're being lame and just, William, stop, come back. <laughs> Get... <laughs> no, we have to stay on this side. You going? Okay, let's go. That looks craterous. <laughs> He's not into the steam at all. I don't always love comparing the U.S. to New Zealand, but I do feel like we've been a little bit spoiled with Yellowstone National Park in the U.S. Because there you pay one little flat fee and it gives you access to miles and miles of these like really big grand geysers and bubbling mud pits, big pools of colorful water. Whereas here you have to pay all these different little park fees and they're always a little bit of a letdown. I just keep waiting for a bear to come out like in Yellowstone. <laughs> But there, there's no bears here. Mmm, <laughs> right. here's our lunch. Avocado and pesto. Best combo in the world. Also pineapple, yum! They have a bathtub back here. <laughs> it's not filling up very fast, is it? Come on, <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like a roasted chicken. Oh, it's starting to get real nice though. <laughs> well that's really close <laughs> i think we are just gonna spend the rest of the night here we had every intention of going to a hot pool and like lounging after his nap but instead we got in that beautiful tub and soaked in it and we were like well oh, this is like a hot pool right <laughs> we couldn't justify spending fifty dollars to go sit in some hot water it's also doing it with a two-year-old is always questionable whether it's actually going to be enjoyable or not so we just relaxed <laughs> at our airbnb and it was such a nice time so we're just going to have the leftovers of our lasagna that we made last night and it's going to be a beautiful night I have really enjoyed our time here, so we're gonna get up in the morning and then we kind of have to get up cleaned up and then head out because Yeah, Billy has a work thing that he has to go to so I will leave you guys here Thanks for coming along with us on our trip, and I will see you guys next week. Bye